All right. I've spent my morning tearing into this duke. We got the new bike stand there. We just got the tank off. We're going to get in there and uh, replace the spark plug today with the new Iridium one I ordered. If there's one thing I've realised about this bike, that it and I have something in common. There's not a whole lot holding us together. So we're inside with the new Iridium R spark plug, LKAR. 8AI-9. Now all I've done to help me get it uh, down into the Duke because there's a gap of about that big as you can see I picked up some old 6mm fuel line from under the house that came off one of the old motorized bikes as you can see I didn't even bother to wipe the cobwebs off um, but that's going to help me get it in there and thread it in without cross-threading it everything and that way I can use my 14 mil spark plug wrench, which I only just picked up this morning. Uh, pretty nifty. I can use that to just nip it up at the end. Probably won't need an extension, but to clear this frame, I know we're sideways at the moment, but I'm gonna use my long bar. Okay, so with a long bar in, There is barely enough clearance, so I'm gonna, I should have a spare bar. I think it's still attached to my socket actually. Yeah. There we go. And I'll check in once that's out. I think that's a very healthy looking plug to be honest. And Nicely gapped too. All right, let's put the new one in and see how we go. Now, literally all we're gonna do here is thread that down by hand and hope we get it in. I'm gonna switch off the video for this because I really do need two hands to concentrate. Uh, but we're gonna wind that in and then nip it up with the plug at uh, the socket at the end. All right. You can tell it's biting because I can put tension on that and now we're just literally twisting that in by hand. How do you like my makeshift spark plug installer? That's about the length I needed to barely clear the frame. But now that that's done, I can really just start putting it all back together. Don't try to do it on video because I really need two hands, but we'll plug all that back in and start buttoning this mess all back up again. And hopefully I've taken enough photos and whatnot that I don't break anything putting it back together. Just stalled. Uh, bugger. I was really beginning to think it wouldn't do that. There's something 
something deeper going on with this bike. That's not right. and it's idling. A little bit high but it's not stalling. But uh, that was me, I raised the idle by about a couple hundred. All I've got to do is take it for a ride and see how it goes. But uh, fingers crossed it sorted out the, uh, the stalling. It st stalled once while it was warming up but um, yeah, tw tweak the idle and that's it. It's been running for about 10 minutes now and just really needs a ride.